So Cancer, oh, what's going on here? Uh, of course, as we shuffle the cards, I would much appreciate for you to subscribe my channel. And what do we have here? Eight, no, it's five of swords. Conflict and defeat with a Leo. What's going on, Cancer? We do have strength, power, and the five of swords might be a powerful conflict. Uh, we might have been defeated. What, what happened? We took on a fight. We said something harsh, right? We said something unpolished. Um, something... Oh, and we might have destroyed a foundation. We are about to build a foundation, right? Foundation and achievements with somebody. Four of Wands, we are about to ask their hand in marriage. It's a marriage card, maybe a husband or wife. And um, again, this Leo energy, right? And then we had some bumps in a road. We might have had, let's see. Four of Wands, the, the um, hangman, stagnation and sacrifice, right? What happened? We got on a standstill. Things were not progressing the way we wanted them, right? Because we had a fight. We had a conflict. And we want reconciliation or we sacrifice for uh, Three of Cups energy, rejoice and celebration, having them back, going back to this person. Okay, so let's have bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time, the most important one. And we do have Eight of Pentacles and the Temperance Sagittarius energy, but I'm sensing Seven of Pentacles. I'm sensing here we are um, at peace, or at least we are patiently working towards um, getting back in balance, being patient, um, combining differences, compromising, waiting for the right moment, waiting for the harvest, and working towards wish fulfillment and balance. So let's see, Cancer, what's going on? Who threw you out of balance, Cancer? Tell me, who did that to you? So, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let us have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it because we actually had them flipped. We have awareness and the four of cups, the magician and the four of cups. We'll see how this ties up. Um, possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies, bottom of the deck mental conflict. Okay, we might be actually quite conflicted about this person. At times we might feel discontent and bored, at times we feel like manifesting, at times we feel like compromising and being patient. Kind of feels like an expression, but um, I'm, I'm sure that is an equivalent um, in English, you know, where uh, we don't know exactly how to dance the dance, right? It's a more of a French expression, but hey. Oh, the strength card again. Um, so, Cancer in the past, Two of Pentacles and the Strength, Leo energy, but we had some movement choices and decisions and I believe you might have um, had a choice to make about a Leo um, or maybe this choice with this person um, was might have been a tough one and you had to be strong and courageous and um, it's about strength and kindness, right? So if you were the one uh, to break the news to this person, that this might be over or something has to change. You did it from a place of kindness, a, pr a place of strength, a place of inner courage and, um, and, and you know what, maybe you put a lot of effort in this connection and at some point the decision was quite evident for some of you, right? That, you know what, well, now this person of yours, Cancer, um, they came to this connection fully committed to you with the four of wands foundation and achievement you might have been married to this person and then they went through emotional loss i kind of feel that you left them behind um we'll see how this goes but um five of cups is the energies of the energies of um, guilt of regrets they've went through missing longing guilt regrets mourning the loss and mourning the loss of whatever was achieved between the two of you and Five of Cups comes from a place of love. Five of Cups comes from a real place of love. 
which will energize between the two of you, the waiting game, and you show up here, right? I feel that uh, you might have uh, made a strong decision. Um, you show up in your own power, in your own uh, triumph. It's kind of something maybe that you wanted. You said goodbye to somebody. You said goodbye. You you walked away, and um, and um, you know everything was um, um, kind of difficult. I would say for both of you, and it's a strong um, energy of choices, um, Cancer crossroads and choices. I believe at some point. Um, two of Pentacles is a lot of work. You might have had enough, and and um, and things became more concrete. And uh, because you have ones and Pentacles, and none of it is your energy, right? So at some point, you got out of uh, your comfort zone, out of um, you being yourself, and a decision was um, required. So where are we right now? We do have the Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward, but this is the energy of partnership and the Three of Swords, heartache and loss. We've lost somebody, um, you know, who was really in love with us, right? Five of Cups. My, uh, my I miss you like crazy energy, but also the energies of, um, of love and emotional loss when the person is no longer with us. And now it's our turn actually to suffer a bit, you know. That is something about this connection that requires a lot of effort and might hurt you in some way three of pentacles is also an energy of um you may be working you might be working with this person and somehow it might hurt the dynamic in in um, business and and work together um but still painful it's a painful connection and yet you were so powerful in the past when you've when you've made that decision uh, maybe there is an awareness happening to you right now and I don't know if this is the energy of regrets, the energies of um, maybe out of boredom and discontent. You might have um, made a radical decision because we have you a little bit emotional and um, heartbroken about. Um, cancer, this person of yours, they have the emperor, might be an Aries energy. And again, they are so consistent. Foundation and achievement, taking control knowing exactly being organized and this is the energy of my marriage my commitment my relationship with cancer is strong right um so convinced that their life is with you right that's the energy of four of ones my marriage with my cancer is important um and again getting organized um coming from a place of power a place of knowledge right now and um they haven't changed a bit, right? Four of Wands in the past, Four of Wands. I'm committed, I'll stay committed. And yet, Cancer, the energy between the two of you, the conflict and defeat and emotional withdrawal. And I'm kind of sensing that this is on your side. It's like your mind longs for something and your heart longs for something else. That is the Eight of Cups, right? I know I'm in a solid commitment, I know they love me, and yet I long for excitement, I long for something different. And you might be conflicted with yourself and that's what keeps this um, connection, right? That's what uh, keeps it on, on the rocks in some way, right? Conflict and defeat. Conflict and defeat and emotional withdrawal. And yet we have you hurt. I don't know exactly what decision was made, um, Cancer, and what is the um, realization of it, but absolutely the current situation in your own decision looks like might have hurt you in some way, might have hurt the partnership and the strong foundation that they want to have with you. And yet that is distance, right? Emotional distance, that's eight of cups, emotional distance. One is working, one is suffering. Energy is coming your way, absolutely reconciliation, three of cups and illumination, the hangman, right? Now I know better. Looking at the lessons, um, you know, that um, need to be learned and three of cups. Let me rejoice in celebration with my cancer. Somebody knows better, somebody is wiser, got enlightenment, enlightened, sorry. We do have awareness and we do have the energies of awakening. And look at the energies coming this um, uh, person's way, your soulmate. Um, 
they do have the disruption energy the tower and the ace of swords this is the light bulb right um um, this is absolutely the aha moment and the triumphant success, but it has to be, um, you know, it is connected to a disruption of some sort and it's like extremely rapid um, um, enlightenment, vision, new plan. And in the same time, um, Cancer, for some of you, this is the energy of your soulmate actually looking at the situation and saying, I've been loyal for a once. I've been dedicated to this foundation and achievements with you and I got the energy of nothing with the five of cups emotional withdrawal. I took control over and I suggested ways to go forward with the emperor and then right I got the emotional withdrawal. Now I'm cutting the BS right. This is disruption and the ace of swords is the energy for some of you of I know what this is all about and I do not want the tower in my life right that is this energy and mutual energies between the two of you we do have the hermit virgo energy and the eight of wands this is success and moving forward this is wisdom the the universe is kind of saying lessons were learned uh passion was uh you know there was passion in this and now there is passionate move, movement forward because we um kind of um saw the truth in it right you do get reconciliation on your side and on their side they get communication i do believe that communication can very well be expected it's something you've worked on and the temperance is really bringing people together to find uh, the middle ground right and for for you it looks like a reconciliation for them it's like an enlightenment um of some sort and an energy of um of vision a vision that's exactly the energy and cupid's arrows right eight of wands cupid's arrows and messages and and move, movement forward um and wisdom after a period of solitude because we've been uh lonely since since you and this person have separated there were there were tons of moments of loneliness here okay passion is still there a desire to compromise a desire to reunite uh, to have firm foundations, a desire to develop some vision of some sort where we can see each other in five years, in ten years, that is all here. A desire to work, eight of pentacles, right? Both of you. Um, seven of pentacles, the energy of patience, twice the energy of patience. So um, I believe um, whatever happened uh, kind of taught the lesson to both of you. That's the energy I'm picking up here. So... Um, Cancer, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do and what we are guided to do here. So Cancer, be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. I'm sent, probably you said no and now we have you one thing back. That is something that you see in this. So be willing to express love, express love to receive love. It's about giving and receiving. Cancer, physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much, right? Like a hug. Speaking your truth, expressing yourself with love and having a physical contact. And we have choose love. You always have choice. Make yours with love. So express love, choose love, and you can also give a hug, why not? Let's have some romance angels. Um, we're going to have, we'll see, three probably. And then we'll look into the energies we need to um, get back into the flow. We do have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We do have you deserve love. You are lovable, Cancer, if you are wondering, right? Religious factors and you deserve love. And we do have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay. We'll see with the energies. I'm, I'm, you know, it makes, it makes so much sense because, um, I don't know if we were chasing an illusion in the past, um, Cancer, but it, 
I'm picking up the energy whom, of, a, of a cancer who made a very powerful, strong decision. It's like, I'm done, I'm out, right? It was too much. We had this awakening and it was like, no. And then somehow we are so emotional right now about the choice that we've made and the partnership that was with this person or you wanted to. And now we have this energy of, okay, God bring me reconciliation because I would do things differently right now. Okay. Now let's see the energies we need to get back into the flow. And we do have surrender to effortlessness. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. Oh yeah, temperance, going with the flow, patience, awareness, awakening. Effortlessness and surrender to non-action is kind of like the universe sending you one in the same. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you, Cancer. Okay? Let others come to you with compromise and patience. One in the same energy. And you have patience again. It's kind of the universe asking you to hold your horses, no matter how painful this can be. And how many sacrifices you've done or whatever you are really asked to think through. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I accept that everything happens in divine order. And we do have success, right? We need to be patient. It needs to be easy, non-action in order to have success. I know that there is no greater goal than love. Bottom of the deck, we do have adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. It has been a challenge, absolutely. Five of Swords, the Hermit, silence and silent treatment. And now we need this energy of acceptance. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Okay. Um. So Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. Um. And come to me next time. Love you. Take care.